Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you where you can get Office 2016 for really cheap. And when I say cheap, I mean about $6.46. So I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on where and how to purchase Office 2016 for about that price. So let's get started. Okay, so before I begin, I'm just going to answer some questions you may have. I'm just reading it off the description from the listing that I have here. So it's fully compatible with Windows 7, 8, and Windows 10. So Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, fully compatible. It's got multiple languages, uh, genuine Microsoft license, full package and updates. So you, this is an installation file, so you always have it on your computer. You don't need to log onto the web in order to use uh, Microsoft Office like you do have with Office 365. So what I'm saying is you don't need an internet connection in order to use this Office 2016. It's always on your computer. It's always available to use. Let's see what else here. It doesn't expire. Now the Office product key that you do purchase off eBay needs to be used within three days. Otherwise the license key does expire. So you need to use it within three days. So remember that. And again, this is a digital key. So you're not getting any physical copy. It's just a digital key that will allow you to use and install Microsoft Office. So it's a full copy. It's just a digital key. You're not going to be getting the box with CDs. So the key will be sent via uh, eBay message will, I guess, ultimately be sent to your email if you do have your email hooked up with your eBay. Assuming you do, the license will be sent to your email account. So it says here in the, in the description that all orders delivered within 24 hours. So within that day, you should be getting your license key. So hopefully that answered all your questions and now we can begin through the step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is obviously we're gonna be opening our web browser and uh, we're gonna type in ebay.com. I'll try to post the link in the description of this video for that listing that I'm gonna be purchasing this copy of Office 2016 from. But anyway, type in Office 2016 and here you'll you'll be able to um, pick whichever one you, uh, I guess looks the most, um, I guess whichever one that looks the best to you. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use this listing. I've not used this listing before, but they have sold 2,518 copies. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I think that this is a safe bet. So I'm going to purchase it from this guy and uh, he's selling it for $6.46. So just looking down at the description, he basically mentions that all the copies that he sells have been sold through, um, they're basically, he takes them off older machines and he sells them on, I guess, on eBay on this platform. So he's not going to be sending you any boxes, any CDs. He's going to be sending you the installation file and he's going to be sending you the CD key. So you don't need to worry about anything of uh, receiving anything. So there's no shipping involved besides for sending the email to you. That's, that's basically it. So we're going to click on buy it now with, uh, with eBay and, uh, you guys don't need a PayPal account for this, although you do need an eBay account. So, uh, take remember that so I'm gonna click on buy it now and um, I'm gonna go ahead and click buy it now and I'm going to pay with credit card so I'm so I'm gonna go ahead and type in my credit card quickly okay so now once I have or you have your credit card typed in you're just gonna go ahead and click confirm once you clicked on confirm you're gonna click on confirm and pay and that that should pay it and uh, Let's go ahead and click on it. And now as it does state right here, it says that the order or my order was placed. So you're going to get a confirmation uh, to your email address and uh, you should be getting the key, I guess, estimated delivery. It says Thursday, July 6th to Monday, July 10th. So maybe it might take a few days, but you will get it within your email. Hopefully it will be within the same day. So, once I do receive the key, I will be right back to show you guys how to install and everything of that sort. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. It's about one hour later and I've received the key and I've also received two emails. So one of them here says that the item was shipped. Obviously it's not really shipped. It means that they just sent me the email with the key. And then the other one is the message with the instructions and what to actually do in order to install 
So if you guys just wanted to follow these instructions, you can go ahead and follow them. If you wanted the step-by-step, -step, I'll be doing that step-by-step -step right now so you can follow me uh, doing the step-by-step. -step. So anyway, once you have the email, it should say the instructions and it should say the product key. I'm obviously going to blur mine out, but it should have your product key right here. So you can just copy and paste that whenever it asks you for it or you just type it in. Okay, so we're going to first click on that download link, which is right here. And it should open up a new tab. So once it opens up a new tab, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new account. So you have to create a new account. That's that's basically what the instructions say. So we're going to create a new account. Um, so we're going to click on that button right there. And now we're going to type in the account name. So whatever you want it to, to be called. So let's go ahead. We'll type in. Okay, so ZWAS didn't work. So I chose ZWAS87 at Outlook.com. For the password, I'm just going to type in a random password. So I'll just type in a random password. We're going to click on next. And uh, we're going to go ahead and finish creating the account. So let's type in C plus. And now it's going to ask you for your office product key. So here is where we're going to type in our key. So I'm going to open, I'm going to go back to my email and the email tab. I'm going to copy my product key which is right here and you go ahead and copy yours too I'm gonna press on control C to copy it then I'm gonna go back to my other tab and I'm gonna push on I'm gonna click on this first box right here and then I'm gonna push on my keyboard control V so now I have the whole code posted in here I'm gonna select country or region so we'll select let's select Canada because I live in Canada so it should be right here my preferred language is English. Sorry, I guess it has the languages within the within the regions. So if you choose your region, it should have your language for your region. So I'm going to click on next since I have that in there. And now I'm going to click on next again to get office. So it's going to download office. And now it's going to have all my it's going to have, it's basically going to say your product, which is Microsoft Office Pro Plus 2016, which is the one I purchased. And now it's going to say your product, product key. So I'm going to, obviously I'm going to blur this out, but I'm going to, I'm going to click on download now. And uh, it actually says what to do. So here's what to do next. Click the download new button. Uh, sorry, click on, click the download now button below. Save the file to your desktop. So we're going to click on download now. And we're going to save this file to my desktop which is right here I'm going to click on that left side so that I can find it e easily click on save and now it's going to save the file onto my desktop and as you can see the icon is right here on my desktop so I'm going to go ahead and double click that so let's go ahead and click that now you should get some EAC that pops up user control account you're just going to click on yes and now it's basically going to start the installation. So now it's installing Office and this should take a few moments um, depending on how fast your computer is. So I'll be right back as soon as that's done. All right, guys. So now the installation is complete. It says you're all set. Office is installed now. Click start all apps and I guess Office. So now what you're going to do is you're going to restart your computer and then you're going to try to open up Office, whether it's Word, Excel, um, I don't know, PowerPoint whichever app it is you're going to click you're going to open that up and if it doesn't if it asks you for a product key you're going to go back into your email and you're going to copy that key and post it back in either either word or excel or whichever and if it does ask you to activate it then you're going to use that same email address that you used when you signed up for office when you registered so that's pretty much it guys um, i'm just going to show you um, mine works my office works so if i type in office if i click on excel excel opens up if i click on word word opens up and um everything works everything just works and it's just great so i mean there you there you go there you have it office 2016 for six dollars and 46 cents so guys, anyways, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, don't forget to leave a like. Thanks for watching. And until next time, catch you guys on the flip side.